What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 101 and you've asked for this for a little while. So we're going to be doing my American Milsim loadout or my military simulation loadout at most of the Milsim events that I go to. So we're gonna go ahead and start with my gloves. These are my Oakley hard knuckle gloves. These are really nice. They have the carbon fiber Kevlar knuckles. Um, they just fit really well. I haven't cut the fingers off yet, but I think I'm gonna do that soon. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take those off just so I can easily access my helmet though. So I run an Emerson OpsCore fast helmet is kind of the style of it. And then I have my ESS turbo fans. These are the ESS black turbo fans. And then I have a generic mesh lower face mask. I have no idea what brand this one is. Um, we'll go ahead and take my goggles off and kind of just put them up there. I have integrated this uh, thing into my helmet, this lower face mask. It just makes it easier. I know, like, usually you'll have a big, uh, a lot of straps at the back of this, but this just makes it easier and streamlines it quicker so that I can kind of just put it into my helmet very quickly, as you can tell there. And then I can even pull on it and nothing happens. But if I click it, it'll come out. I have an OpsCore HNAPE in this. I took out all the internals on the helmet. I have an OpsCore HNAPE, and then I have a really nice Team Wendy. I don't know exactly what pads. I think they're the Zorbium Zap pads that I just got on eBay and completely redid the internals. And the crappy Emerson startup ones were pretty crappy, but now it feels really, really nice. And the inside of this helmet is just super, super comfortable. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off just easy a little bit so you can kind of see my comm setup here. This is a code red headset. I just won, I run one in my left ear and then I have my push to talk right here. So if I wanna just click it to push to talk and that runs down to my Baofeng UV5R down here with the extended battery just so I get a lot of range. And I have that run as my radio so I can get on the comms frequencies. Um, a UV5R is a really nice radio. It's got like a ham frequency. Um, it's just really easy and they're only like $40 ship which is really nice. Up front, I run six mags on my Cry JPC. This is a Cry Real JPC. Um, you might notice that it looks a little bit different, and that's because I have HSGI shoulder pads. These are really nice shoulder pads. The JPC stock pads were pretty nice. I just really liked the HSGI Sure Grip pads, or not Sure Grip pads, just the, they're just called the shoulder pads. Everything else they have is kind of the Sure Grip battle belt and stuff. Um, but these pads are really nice, and I got them for like $15 ship from some guy used. So it was really, really nice, and it's just really good at putting that weight, not just on the, the thin parts of your shoulder, but like all across your shoulder. I have my American Milsim Iron Horse patch here. Um, in my For my six mags that I run in the front, I have just the standard three that run in the built-in JPC pouch. And then I have a Blue Force Gear triple shingle on the front, which is really nice. I also run a Blue Force Gear double shingle in Coyote here. So I can run eight mags just really quick that I have access to. And then the one in the gun itself, which I will get to in a second. I already have an admin pouch up here that's really nice with the built-in JPC stuff and I just keep like, I have like two Sharpies and then I have a map of the field and then for my a, for American Milsim games, I have like the American Milsim real world situation medic card, like if something were to go uh, wrong with me or something and they need to figure out what blood type I am or something, that is what I have in there. On the back of the plate carrier, I run a Pantac mini map that I, it doesn't actually come with pouch or it didn't come with the straps. So I kind of weave paracord just to kind of keep it more snug to my body, which was nice. And then I run an emergency mag or a buddy mag in my HSGI taco and I believe that's just khaki color. All right, so what you really care about, this will be the primary. So this is my system of PTW. Um, we'll go ahead and run through it front to back. So I have up front here, just standard Birchcade Birch cage flash hider. Um, I have a VTAC modular handguard on here. This is actually a real steel handguard. It's a very, very nice rail. It's the older generation. I just really, really like it. Um, I have an Olight M22 weapon light on here with a pressure switch up here. This is a Manta rail cover, just the pressure switch one. It's just really nice, so I can just wrap around the grip and then get a really nice grip on it. I also have Magnet Tactical Wrap. It may look a little silly to you guys, and it kind of looks a little silly to me, but the comfort level of it is really, really nice. I can get a really nice grip because I like to have the AFG one kind of C-clamp style thing, which is what I have on here. And it's just really nice to be able to get that grip. And it kind of has like a sticky residue on the tape itself because it adheres very well. And that sticky residue is just really nice. It's a consistent grip. And I also have some down here on my Magpul MOE pistol grip. Inside the gun, I have an Orga. Uh, I don't know exactly, it's a 14.5 inch inner barrel. It is a flat hopped barrel. It's the Orga wide bore. I don't know exactly what uh, diameter the, uh, the Sysimo one is. Um, but it's really nice and the gun shoots really well. And then I have a Red Wolf hop-up as well in it. I have a really cool um, dust cover, just this, this like, it's a, it's got kind of got an American flag on it. 
and I put it on there and it's pretty, pretty cool. I like it. I think it's nice. It's just, I, I got it from airsoftballistics.com if you guys want to go check them out. Um, I got it on there because I was like, man, I would really like to have something cooler sit on my dust cover. So I figured I'd get that and it's just a nice little dust cover. I run System of Mags, just a stock System of Mags. I have Celsius ones as well. Um, I use, I think, I have like six System of ones and then six Celsius of the standard Sanang magazines and I might change out the internals. Back here we have a, uh, we'll go ahead and go with the grip. This is a Fight Club Custom MOE system of PTW grip and then I have a replica T1 up top. Don't exactly know what brand this is. Internally I have a new 2008 ECU that I just had put in there. I'm running the gold cylinder which I have the spring cut to shoot about right at like 395. And then I have a really cool stock on here. This is the Mission First Tactical stock. It's a really nice, nice stock, the BUS stock. Um, it's got a really nice space back here for battery, and then with the system of buffer tube, since it's a real buffer tube and it's a little bit bigger, I have a lot of room to store my LiPo batteries in there as well. So we'll go ahead and put that down. My camo set is just the standard issue USGI camo combat set. It's really nice. It's the I believe it's Massif is, is the brand that actually produces it, but it has like all the USG markings inside of it. On my legs, I have the same pants, they're the USGI pants um they are the combat set and they actually have the spot for the knee pads and i have cry knee pads in there which are super super nice it's just like much easier to kind of maneuver and if i ever have to to get down like lay down it's much easier to be able to do it um they're pretty breathable on under it i run a uh, under armor heat gear shirt just in case it's like really hot out right like now it's like 80 degrees outside that heat gear shirt keeps me cool and it keeps the sweat and just makes it kind of a night whenever i get a nice breeze it's just really really nice to have it go through um, it works pretty well. On my feet, I run the Oakley SI Assault Boots. These are just a standard 10.5 inch, or 10.5 inch, it's not a braille system, or a barrel length. Um, it's the 10.5 size, that's what size my feet are, and then they're super muddy, as you can tell, but I run them as my boots, and they're really nice, and it's pretty, pretty content just to run it like that. I have two sidearms that sometimes I will run, sometimes I don't run, along with my fanny pack, um, depending on what I run. This is, I'll just kind of go over the guns real quick. This is a Tokyo Marie. Uh, AEP auto electric pistol. It's really nice. It's a Glock 18C, so it's got that full auto capability. And I don't run like a traditional belt setup, so most of the time I don't like. It depends on, on a game mode what I'll use. Like if I'm playing in an AMS game, I really need to have a backup because there's a lot of close quarter engagements. Um, and what if my gun goes down? Another one I like to use is my Tokyo Marie FN57. This is a great piece. It shoots really well. It doesn't have the greatest sound or recoil because it's all plastic, but it shoots very flat, very accurately, and I love my TM stuff. So you're probably wondering what in the world, why is he running a fanny pack? And I was, I honestly just got this as kind of a joke, um, but it actually is really nice to be able to have, to be able to easily access stuff in the front instead of having to get my backpack on the back. So I have an extra battery in here. Actually, I have two extra batteries in here for my PTW if I want to run them. Sometimes I'll keep my backpack. I actually have a tornado grenade as well if I need an entrance. It's just really easy to grab a grenade in here since I don't run a traditional belt combo and it's not heavy at all. And then I just have a normal speed loader for either my pistol mags or if I'm running my VSR for my sniper rifle. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to see my sniper light rifle loadout, comment that next. It runs some of the same stuff, but I also use a different stuff. I will also be doing a green or cost camouflage, usually for the AMS games, but this is what I run normally at most Ohio military simulations. I usually run multi-cam or I'll wear my OD onesie flight suit and it's pretty beautiful. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys later.